So Food Fun Finance, we are here in Hawaii, but we are here at Coco Head and we about to have breakfast island style. Let's go. So Food Fun Finance, we are here at Coco Head Cafe in Honolulu, Hawaii. So this place is awesome and they have a variety of different options as far as food, drinks. They have a vegan option. They have a gluten-free option. Keep in mind that a 5% surcharge is taking out the check to go directly to all the dedicated team members. Chefs, prep cooks, line cooks, and dishwashers. I think that's awesome. Kokomo also has daily specials. So today's daily special is a lot of baked goods. Vanilla sea salt biscuits, cinnamon roll, rice pudding, bread pudding, brownies, dumplings of the day, pickle plate, yogurt bowl, daily omelet. It is a variety of things. Look at that. The list just goes on and on and on and on and on. So if you don't like what's on the menu, they have daily specials that you could dive into. But right now, we're gonna dive into these mimosas. So Food Fun Finance, we are here with this mimosa. It's called the Queen Mimosa, sparkling wine, elderflower, and guava juice. Be careful with guava juice, guys. I taste more sparkly than anything, but stay tuned because I got an old fashioned coming right at you. Food from the finance. We are back with this old fashioned. Smell like it might be good. Let's try it out. I don't know. This looks like a gooseberry. Why they put gooseberry in the old fashioned? I'm gonna ask her too. It looks like a gooseberry. So Food Fun Finance, we are back with a beer and then we got some dumplings. So I'm gonna drink my beer real quick and you guys stay tuned so I can let y'all know what these dumplings taste like. So Food Fun Finance, we are back. You know I gotta go traditional. I'm tired of the spiciness, this is fantastic. <laughs> That pepper really hit my throat. Like there's a there's a slow tear coming out the right eye. So if you see it actually come out, then you know that it's a little spice to it. But the actual dumpling itself, that was that's one of the most scrumptious dumplings that I've ever had. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I want to have another one, even though my throat got attacked by spices. I'm still trying to get it through. So that dumpling would be a five, most definitely, all day long. But you see we got other stuff we about to dive into, so stay tuned. So Food Fun Finance, we have a vanilla latte. Did I say that right? Yeah, vanilla. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I ain't a drink, but it's not hot, it's not overwhelming. If you hear me slurring my words, it's because of the beer and the old fashioned and the little fruit that they had, I ate it and it was soaked in the liquor. But this is great. I wanna ask them where they get their coffee beans from. Food Fun Finance, stay tuned, because we got a lot more. So I forgot to rate it, it's a latte. It's a five on the latte scale. I don't think Starbucks got anything on this, so. A five out of five. I think that's decent. Let's go. Full fun finance. We're about to jump into this corn flake French toast. Stay tuned. So, corn flake French toast. I think that's what it is. It doesn't matter as long as it goes down good. So, there's an X with the bacon into something of the sorts of a French toast. So, I'm gonna slice a little piece right here. Oh, okay. So, it's cutting easy. So, it's no resistance. That's a good part. I see the crispiness on the outside. That's good too. So, you know, I had to wet it up. It makes me think that we need to do a French toast compilation because I think this one right here it's either gonna be tied for first or come in second I don't know so I'm gonna keep it real this French toast I don't even think it needs the ice cream between zero and five I give this a six two point five and stay tuned 
Food for Finance, we back with this monstrosity. Get in my belly! What exactly? That's that's what you think in your head. Wood easy. It's bipping bop. So do you know what this is? That's gochu jang. Alright. Another question. Absolutely. What coffee did they use for that? Where did it come from? Um Illy is I think it's an Australian. Australian? I have to double check, but I'm almost positive it's an Australian brand. So full from finance. Bippin' bop. That is what this is. Basically, it translates to vegetable rice, but it has eggs. It's a traditional Korean breakfast. So I like to do stuff like this so I can see what it tastes before I get to it. And when I say get to it, meaning like going to Korea and actually tasting stuff like this. So you can see the rice, you can see the eggs, you can see the vegetables in there. It looks awesome. Now let's see how it tastes. It tastes good. I see that it has bacon over here. This looks like spinach. I don't know, it's just, it's so much, so much in there. But it's like a great, healthy combination. So just a disclaimer, we took off the very, very extremely spicy stuff off of it. That is like a pepper paste. So it's spicy. It's very spicy, yes. Ooh, yeah. I, I need to remove that. I have a feeling somewhere, somehow, I'ma still taste it. But this tastes really well. Food Fun Finance, stay tuned. So Food Fun Finance, we had to get another latte. Another one. Like these lattes are one of the best. We traveled all across the freaking world. And this is one of the best lattes that we've had, period. It's a 10 out of five all day long. It's like it's perfect. You gotta add none, it's not too much of something. It's perfect. So if you want the perfect latte, you just come down here to Hawaii and check out Coco Head. Breakfast bruschetta. I'm so stuffed, but this looks so sexy. I gotta dive into it, stay tuned. So let's go. So this was Japanese inspired bread. It's like a sweet bread with fruit on it. She said this is the most underrated dish that they have here, which really, motivated me to check this one out because if it's underrated people just are spectacle about it and just need to know about it and if it's good we're going to spread the word never in my life that i would think that bread would go with fruit so well so it's like a sweet bread and then it has some type of cream filling Japanese vanilla rusk, macadamia, nut honey, yogurt, glazed over the bread, and local fruit, and a lime zest squeezed right over it. You can't tell me that ain't sexy. It actually tastes good too. So all you vegetarians out there who want to come in and just have a real nice memorable dish, this is it. Stay tuned. This is real good, especially for the vegetarians out there. Like, this is a brilliant dish. That's what I call it, a brilliant dish. So I give it a five stars. All jokes aside, I'm not even a big fruit eater like that, but this was very creative and very tasteful. Food Farm Finance, stay tuned for the final review. So Food Farm Finance is the favorite part of the day, the review time. We're gonna go over the environment, customer service, food, and pricing. So stay tuned. So environment, I think the environment was a 4.0, most definitely. It's a great environment, it kind of reminds me of an island I hop. <laughs> you know, it is what it is, but it, it's a good establishment. They can hold a lot of people. It never was really packed, but it should have been. Maybe we're here on the wrong day. This is a Thursday morning, early morning. It's like nine o'clock, so I'd hate to see this place on a Saturday, Sunday morning. I bet you it's stupid. They have a huge waiting area, so I know it gets stupid around here. Anyways, with that being said, 4.0 for the environment, let's move right along. So, food for finance, customer service, A1 customer service, up and down the board. If I could give them more than a five, I would. I would say like a six, seven, eight. They did pretty darn good. They informed me about everything that was on the menu. Very knowledgeable, very nice, very sweet, all that good stuff. Even gave us nice little extra dish at the end that was actually 
fantastic. So with that said, Full Film Finance, they blew past the five point stars. Let's go. So Full Film Finance, when it comes down to the food, oh my God. The food and the drinks, everything was like A1. Like it's really kind of hard. Like Brittany said, 4.5. I'm really saying fives. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm saying fives. Cause like, I can't think of anything that didn't taste good or was like, done outrageously the wrong way or you know sometimes you have different things that come in the dishes and this wasn't good or that wasn't good just for instance the uh, french toast the bacon wasn't good but the french toast was great you, the bacon didn't even matter because the french toast was so damn superb so with that being said i say five plus stars Brittany says 4.5. She's just a hard ass. That's all that is. Stay tuned for the next one, the pricing. So the mimosa was $12. The French toast sticks, which was outstanding, was $25. The two Illy Cafe lattes, they were $12, yo. Vanilla syrup, we got charged extra for the vanilla syrup. The old fashioned $16, which was very strong. The breakfast. Bippin' Bop. I added cheese to that for my eggs to be scrambled. That was $2. Shelter Bay IPA. So that was the beer that I was drinking. It was called Shelter Bay. That was pretty good. That was $10. The dumplings was $19. And those dumplings were one of the best that I've ever had. As far as the texture of the dumpling, what was inside of it, all of that, definitely good. The sauce kind of threw me off because of the spiciness. Like I think I inhaled a spicy uh, seed and they just threw my throat completely out. And then they gave the 5% surcharge to the kitchen, which is fine. And they all came up to 131. And I think the pricing should be a five point stars to bring these things to San Francisco. That is some good pricing and some good quality food. So Food Fun Finance, yep, gave this a 4.0. I think it's way past that. I don't know if we got special treatment because we had these cameras and we were looking American-ish, but they did their thing most definitely so Brittany said a 4.7 i say a 5.0 and yelp says a 4.0 so you come and try it out and you do the comparison and you leave your comment down below and then you go check out yelp and you uh, leave your comment there too so we all know what the real is this is a goal for sure full fun finance stay tuned we have hawaii waikiki honolulu all these places let's go so Food Fun Finance, do me a huge favor to keep this channel going, to keep this channel growing. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know anything that's on your mind so we can keep this community growing. Let's go.